I'm Jane Satterfield. In honor of the animals who have emerged in our absence, I'd like to read a poem called Fox. It appeared in the literary magazine Nell, which publishes the work of female identifying writers. Fox. First stars in a milky sky, fog sifting branches, and the fox is interloper, is fur of russet and iron, is light-footed, is real in my alley, no emblem trickster or guide, vision appearing at no one's command, only to vanish through some ragged hedge, flicking that full tail the hunter calls brush. Distant as dreamland, that long gone afternoon, on the long walk at Windsor, where costumed riders in scarlet jackets and velvet safety helmets streamed by, crops held firm in hand. In lore, in legend, and in hunt practice, initiates were marked when the quarry was caught, their foreheads smeared in the ceremony of blood. Stashed in a cupboard somewhere, the bone china tea mug I was given is emblazoned with images of the hunt. Its inked tableau of horse and hound, a handheld pageant of staged artistry, raw impulse tamed and brought inside. Compatriot of shrinking spaces, you come nearer, weaving your way past digging machines and dog parks to extend an empire among us, alert and unleashed, traveling twin kingdoms of dusk and dawn.